Fine Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Swift to Shift Couriers Season 2, Episode 6. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? Hey boys, it's Keithy's birthday today. Yeah, and we're gonna have a cake later, but if you guys want any, you're gonna have to chip in. Stuff the cake, let's just get him a stripper. <laughs> What's this? Happy birthday. <laughs> when you get to my bloody age, you don't worry about birthdays anymore. Oh, oh my God. Hey. What's that? Very bloody funny. A Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, when you get to your age, you might need it, my boy. What's going to happen tonight, Keith? I'm Amanda. Be to take your. So why does Keith. to Abdullah. Come in, Abdullah. What do you want? You have to come in today to talk about the complaints from the female clients. What's this bullshit all about anyway, bro? HR feels you have a negative attitude towards women. You have to attend the counselling, Abdul. First you told me to use the owner, now this. What do you want? Hey, hey fuck you. Don't touch my bed, you fuckwit. Fuck you! Listen, mate, I'll be there, alright? What's your problem? You wanna start? Pull over! Pull over now! Uh oh. So Mario and Abdul are organised? Okay, because that harassment council is coming in at 10. And David, no bullshit, okay? This time they're serious. Keith, the only problem I have with females is that I don't get enough pussy, mate. Dirty little oh shit. Oh my god! <laughs> you have a problem, dickhead! <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, you're a woman! In my country, you ladies are not allowed to drive! Get off the road, stay home, and look after your children! <laughs> In my country, you ladies are not allowed to drive. <laughs> oh my god! Ooh. God damn! Mario, come in, please. Yeah. I'm just reminding you to come into base. Renzo, this harassment thing is just a joke, mate. I did not harass Melissa. In fact, she wants me bad. And I know because she looks at me like she wants me bad. Mario, you're required to be at the counselling. That's straight from Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Swift and Shift Couriers. Could you put me through to Melissa now, please? Melissa, Mario's on line three, again? Fuck. <laughs> what do you want, Mario? Can you just hold on one sec, because we really need... Four, 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 just, just one minute. Just sign here for this, please. This is meant to be Italian buffalo milk mozzarella. Do you know what that is? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Just stop. I've got someone on the phone. One minute. Uh, Melissa, look, why did you dog me in for? Because you were stalking me. Stalking? Where do you get stalking from? You know, you're hot. But you got a massive ego. Yeah, I mean, I could get any chick that I wanted, and I'm just trying to be your friend. Melissa, I've got to go. There's a problem with this thing. Mm. I don't know. What, what? Take it easy, mate, all right? <laughs> now, Take Keith, it easy, mate, Make right? your staff fully aware that the new company policy on harassment will range from deduction of pay to Ooh. criminal charges, if Ooh. need be. Look, I know there have been isolated incidents in the past, but I promise you from now on, there will be no sexual anything here at Hashfield. Oh, hey, boys! I already think we should get Keith the stripper for his birthday. Oh, we could get Mandy from the pub. Oh, I think Murray's got her number. Which one's Mandy? Oh my lord. What the? Mandy's the one that does the fire shows, bro. Oh my. 
I want to know straight away. Um, one moment, Amanda. Hold on. Hold drive, hair shield. OK. Thanks. Sorry, Amanda. Um, well, as soon as I'm done, I'll let you know. Oh, by the way, how's the uh, outsource they... depot working out? Well, great. The call centre in India takes the orders. Hello. Swift and shift couriers. And the drivers Curios. that were brought over here are working out to be 50% cheaper than the local staff. There are some Indians who are finding the transition to Australia to be a little more challenging. Mm. Now, this is how you turn on the GPS. Are there any questions? Oh if your God. question... How they gonna pay them half, though, and, like, expect them to live in Australia? Like, that ain't possible. Like, they, <laughs> they need what the Australians paid if they gonna stay in Australia. Now, if they was gonna stay in India... Then it'll make sense that they, all right, we still good on half of what the Australians make because that's still more than what we was making. So we... ...are regarding lunch or cheap phone cards, then as I've said before, the company will provide neither. Hello? Oh, Murray, do you have Mandy's number? It's Keith's birthday, bro. If you want to book her. Oh, bullshit. You're not doing that today, are you? Anyway, cuz, just text me a number, eh? <laughs> Run for us, you gump. Where am I supposed to stand? Come on, Bubba Gump. <laughs> Keep going, bro. My name is George. Leonard, how are your drivers doing? I think there's been another double booking with the Indians oh, again, Keith. Mm. Hello, Sully. It's Bass here. Have you sorted that problem yet, bro? Because this fool Kio in gear is hiding inside the toilet and he's taking my job, taking my money. I arrive first. You wanna hide in the toilet? Fine, hide in the toilet. Huh? You wanna take my job? Fine, take my job. Okay, Mr. In gear, so. Hey, you big baboon, speak in English. Uh oh. Ah! Ah! It's that fucking Indian call center that head office set up. We should never have shared the same system. I think they put our internal phone numbers on their calling list. Those dickheads ring us three times a day, Keith. I bet this is one of them now. Hello? Hello, my name is Hillary. Would you like to hear about our fantastic yeah. savings that yeah. we have this yeah. month on our list? Stop fucking ringing her off me. Flip your kind of... ah! I'm sorry. Are you speaking English? Uh, yeah. Leonard, how's that new driver, Habib, going? Habib, come in. It's phase four. Habib? Oh my what god. What is it? Um, I'm just checking to see how you're going with that job. Any problems? No, no, no not really, Lock. Like, everything's going really good, Lock. Like, there's no problems, Lock, like, at all. And how's old Bill going? Oh, he's fucking hopeless, Keith. You talk to him. Hello, Bill. It's Keith here. Pick up, please, mate. Hello, Bill. Come in. Bill. Oh. Jennifer, can you pick up, please? I know you're in the van. You better bloody hello, answer Jennifer, it. Jennifer, hello, Bill. <laughs> Listen, mate, I've had a bitch of a day. I'm supposed to go to Ramwick, and Jennifer won't let me. Why not? God, day. Because that's where Bill Slut lives. <laughs> mate, she's not a slut. She's a friend from a pub. She's tomcatting around with uh. anyone and everyone. And I you were the biggest slut that she was. No. Hey, Bill, I'm sorry, mate, but you've got us all buggered, are you? Who's a slut? Who is the slut? Let's <laughs> warn him. Who's the slut? Who is the slut? <laughs> who is the slut? <laughs> yes, sorry, who are you? I'm Grace Cox from head office. Bro, we're getting Keith a stripper. You hanging around? Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess I will, but why is he in there, man? Oh, that's the naughty corner. Oh, my God. Doreen, my name's Grace, and I'm here to handle the complaint you made against David Jackman. So, can you tell me what happened? Well, it's pretty bloody simple. 
the little pervert was hiding under me desk with a camera. Oh, oh shit. my god. Sorry, I thought this was Al's desk. Piss off. Oh. oh. Operations Manager Keith Warren speaking. Hey Keith, man, it's Mario. Like I'm down in the dock. You know what do you want me to do? Well, just wait there. Someone will come and get you. So would you say that this behaviour happens frequently? He's bloody always copping a feel of a little bastard. He grabs me even when I'm doing the photocopying. Oh my God. David. <laughs> David. <laughs> he even has a sly rope at the tuck truck. And you can tell him from me, if he does it again, I'll staple his freaking head to this desk. Yeah, well, I'll make sure I pass that on. Desk, please! Okay, Elle, can you tell me about what you reported? Yeah. I was in the coffee room yesterday, and Kev came in to make some toast. And instead of using, like, a butter oh. knife, he used his filthy, big, Maori finger. Ooh. You filthy shit. Now, there's filthy Maori germs all over our butter. That's not really harassment. That's more a hygiene issue. Yeah. Yeah, but if I wanted to get him back, couldn't we just put, like, he grabbed my tit yesterday during morning tea? <laughs> if I wanted to get him back, and he just put <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, I thought it was gonna be another complaint against David. Hey, David, you in trouble, my boy. You in trouble, my guy. Uh, <laughs> that is disgusting, though. Hell, that is that, that he would do some nasty stuff like that. Like, come on, you're better than that, Kev. I need something to hold. I need something to hold. I need something to hold. I need something. Happy birthday to me. Happy. Can't never Jesus. drink in peace. A man dog. can't even have a drink on his bloody birthday. Yes. Hey. Yeah, Tagro, I'm downstairs. And have I got a birthday present for you? Agro, you bloody river. How old is it? She's your 12 year old scotch. And I've secreted the good drop in a bunch of these coffee flasks. In case that lemon-faced bitch from head office turns up. <laughs> well, I can't come down right now. I've got another bloody bitch from head office here. But thanks, Agro. You're a bloody ledge. Now, put this somewhere safe. It's for Keith, yeah? See you, boys. I'm going back to work. JJ, go and put them over there near the lunch table, bro. Hey, Anthony, is it my turn to, like, go up? Probably, bro. Probably, bro. Don't you know the difference between stalking and friendship? There's a big difference, man. Keep pushing it, Mario, and I'm gonna get an AVO out on you, okay? I like your perfume. Hey, Mario, I thought I told you to wait downstairs. Yeah, well, Anthony said to come up to here. He's a bloody idiot. Where is he anyway? Hello? Doreen said to make sure you get a low-fat cake. All right. She's on a fucking diet. So one... Low-fattened cake. What is that? What we need what to establish that? first, truthfully, is why you are behaving so inappropriately here with your female co-workers. Listen to me, darling. I could sue this company for a fuckload of dwarf-related issues. You want a war? I'll give you a fucking war. Oh, All dude. we want is a happy work environment and the truth. You want the truth? You can't, you can't handle the truth. Ah! I'm going for a smoke. Next, please. Gary. Hey. You know, things were so much better in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke in the office. You could have a beer at lunchtime. You could slap a secretary on the ass occasionally. In a consensual, friendly kind of way, mind you. Mr. Warren, I can hear everything you're saying out here. 
Go ball, team. What happened to you? I had a big fight with six Islanders. I smashed them all. Looks like it. Don't, it don't look like it at all. Look, um, Miss Harassment Woman, the thing of it is, Melissa's my ex-girlfriend, okay? I'm just trying to be friendly with her. How's that stalking? It's not stalker, mate. It's just called being friends. Really? Well, it says here in Melissa's statement that you visit her workstation Frequently, sometimes uh -oh. up to eight times a day. That's a massive exaggeration. Five would be fair, but no way eight. <laughs> hey, Melissa, I was just in the area, so like, I just thought I'd like just we'll just hang out for a while. Hey, if you're not doing nothing now, we could go for a ride in my van. Did you need a pen? Did you just like ring me anonymous? Someone told me you needed a scissors. I heard you like breads. Happy birthday! Isn't it today? Oh, oh no, it's God. in June. And she also says that there was a violent incident with her personal trainer. Come on, Melissa. 50 more punches. That's it. You're doing well. 40 more now. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. You don't want 50 punches, do you? Yeah. Get away from my mate, all right? Just... What in the fuck are you doing? Jeez, you look hot. Yeah. <laughs> He's throwing a life out there, man. Sheesh. Oh, my God. That's out of work anyway. How come you have to bring that up? Look, it's quite clear you were stalking. Friendship. I mean, apparently you Friendship. broke into Melissa's house and you hid under her bed for two days. Ain't no way, dog. Psst, Melissa. Fuck! Where you been? Was it good? Are you hungry? What are you doing in my house? In my room under my bed? Surprise. Get out! That's Mr. crazy, Gorky. dog. Gouchy. This company will That's no crazy. longer tolerate behaviour that is demeaning or threatening to women. Is friendship all right? It's friendship <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh. Hey, Kev. What time's the stripper coming, man? Oh, shouldn't be too much longer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. If anyone asks, George did it. OK? <laughs> George. Who took my orange juice? I have to take my medication now. George! 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 Is this coffee for everybody? Hi, Amanda. Look, God I think it'd be good if you could come down here and discuss these counselling sessions. We may need some instant dismissals. Instant dismissals? I like the sound of that. Oh Lord. Oh yeah, it's gonna be some people getting fired. <laughs> some people getting fired in this one, dog. JJ? It's Mandy and the twins. <laughs> hey um did you guys know that uh, George is in there acting like really weird? Or like weirder than normal, bro? Sorry, <laughs> Kev, what did you say, man? <laughs> I had to take my clothes off because the coffee made me too warm. Is that normal for him? Mm. <laughs> Oh my Why god. Why should I listen to the company's complaints, oh. huh? You don't listen to me! Mr. Zah, would you please lower your voice? Did you just do anything when I complained about them making me touch pink products? Hey, here's your filthy pink pieces! Sign here! It's forbidden! It's filthy! You, you know what the real problem is? The real problem is that you have a negative attitude towards women. That's bullshit! My wife loves me. I bet you your husband's an idiot. Yeah, bro. Hey, it's Mario. Listen, um, is Keith somewhere up there? Because we've got a special birthday present for him. He's just come now. Go, George, you pimp. Keith's not here, bro. He's not up there. I, I tried Jim on the radio. Are uh, you my girlfriend? <laughs> Is this guy alright? Are you my girlfriend? Oh yeah, for a cabbage, he's alright. <laughs> hey 
Jim. Listen, it's Mario, man. Is Keith up in dispatch? We need him to be dispatched here urgently. Keith's not here, bro. Hey. <coughs> Fuck off. <coughs> Is this cake low fat? Come on. Oh. I knew I forgot something. Oh, I can't eat this. Hey, where is Keith anyway? <laughs> uh oh. Hey boys, you better get rid of the stripper and George because that bitch from head office has just rocked up. <laughs> Mr. Azar. <laughs> oh my. Does anyone know where Keith Warren is? Having some cake. <laughs> uh oh. Oh! George, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> are you in there, man? Amanda from head office has just showed up, man. Oh, shit. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, who's she? We got you a stripper for your birthday, Keith. It's Mandy from the pub. And have you seen Keith? I've been conducting counselling, you know. I haven't seen him for about 45 minutes. Have any of you lot seen Keith? Um, he might be using Murray's office. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's not mine. <laughs> George and hide him, or our jobs are wretched. I'm sorry, love, what's your name again? Mandy. Mandy, I'm going to have to hide you too. Hello? Leonard, tell fucking Keith Amanda's coming his way right fucking now. Uh -oh. Hello? Swift and shift. Hi, it's me again. I'm very bored today at work. Are you having a boring day as well? I wouldn't call it boring. <laughs> And, uh, oh, hello, it's this way. This way, the office. This way, the office is there. What? Fucking death for what? He said he's stretching his legs. Oh my god. You look at the cave, he's in his office. <laughs> nah, I ain't never heard nobody produce wind that strong, dog. Nah, that that man just let a tornado out his butt, dog. That <laughs> bro, work, that office is a hazardous space right now. They got to get up out of there, bro. And his hand probably broke, dog. 
If he stepped on his hand, Big Jill, his hand, Mario hand broke, dog. That hand is gone. But God dang. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was mine. Oh, oh Keith, my God. Having a bit of a party, were we? Oh. Where the hell have you been? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I was in the toilet. Anyway, how's it all going? You know, the um, counselling thing. Mr. Warren, we have some serious problems here in this depot. Problems? Oh my God. I wasn't aware the stripper is under his desk, dog. It's crazy. Danny? Him, this, he's just a bit pissed. Yeah, I'll just get back to what you were doing. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, but there's a really gross, bad smell down there. I'm just gonna wait out there, okay? Oh my god. You just come outside when you're ready to get into it. Keith, you fired. You fired, dog. Excuse me, I brought you all cake. Well, it's not low fat. I know that you old ladies like low fat. <laughs> Sorry about that. Is that a Viagra tablet? Oh, no. Yes. Well, today is my birthday. Keep you five, dog. You five. Now nah, that's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy D Neil. Out.